guys, Brian Hilliard here, author of the best-selling book, Networking Like a Pro, and creator of the popular program, How to Expand Your Reach, Impact More Lives, and Get Your Message Out to a Wider Audience. And I am fired up because we are doing a series on lessons learned from my 200th podcast. And I gotta tell you, I cannot believe that. I remember just starting out. I remember thinking to myself, I was like, you know, I think if we just do a few more podcasts, like on a regular basis, I think I might be able to at least be competitive in terms of keeping up with some of the bigger names. And boy, you know, a few years later, it absolutely has worked out and I really, really love it. But during this time, like I said, I wanna talk about a lesson learned uh, along the way. And this is the idea of how important it is to have a crystal clear marketing message. And when I say that, I mean something that resonates with you and is authentic. Well, I should actually say resonates with your audience and is authentic to you because it allows people to really understand where you're coming from. Now, here is the problem that a lot of people face. I was in this boat a little bit myself. I was trying to get my message out to a wider audience. I was trying to do it in a way that was beyond my local network. I was speaking, I was networking. Um, I was doing some social media, a little bit, not that much, but a little bit. Okay, and what was happening was it was a little bit frustrating because I felt like I had a lot of good stuff to say and I felt like that I had the ability to be able to impact more lives, again, beyond my local network, but I wasn't really sure what the next best step was. I wasn't sure if I should do another blog, if I should do more speaking, should I build a funnel? Like, what's the next best step for me to be able to move forward? And, and maybe you're in that place as well where you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I'm doing all these things right now and I'm not really sure what the next one would be able to do. Or maybe you're getting ready to get started. You have a little bit, you're building out your website, you're doing some other things, and you're like, boy, you know what, Brian? I'm trying to be able to talk to others about what it is I do. Um, I feel like I'm flying from the seat of my pants a little bit when I'm talking to others. It's not that I don't know, it's just that I'm not able to quickly articulate it in a way that allows people to really understand what I do in a relatively short period of time, okay? And if either of that's the case for you guys, you are absolutely in the right spot because what I tell people is imagine a reality where you can have a situation where when you're talking to people, they quickly understand who it is you are, how it is you serve, and where it is you're trying to go, okay? And as a result of that, that's where you're able to not only meet more people and impact more lives, but also turn that into more paying clients. So let's unpack this idea of a crystal clear message because this makes all the difference in the world. Four parts, real quick. First thing you wanna talk about is what is my true product, all right? This is the idea of what is it that people are actually buying from you. So if you're a life coach, people are usually buying from you peace of mind, they're buying from you calm, clarity, things like that. What is your true product? Okay, second thing is, what is your value proposition? Why is it that they're getting it from you specifically? All right, that might be because of your demeanor, your personality. For me, it's because people tell me that they like the collaborative partnership approach to how I work with others. So whatever it is for you, that's your value proposition. That's why people work with you versus the 30 million other people that they have a choice to work with. Number three is now you wanna have a conversation about some of the different challenges and situations that this group is facing, okay? And when you talk about challenges and circumstances, what you're talking about is what's the situation that they're facing that's causing them to talk with me in the first place. Again, for me as an example, I've told you, it's people who are looking, they're like, I wanna get my message out there, I wanna be able to meet more people and engage more people and work with more paying clients, I wanna do so in a way that's not pushy or salesy, what's my next best step, should I blog? Should I do a podcast? Should I write a book? Like, what's my next best step in order to make that move forward? Because I need that to translate into bottom line revenue for my business. So that's the challenge or circumstance that they're facing. You want to identify that. And then last but not least in your marketing message, your crystal clear message, number four is who is it that you're actually working with? Okay, is it an industry group? Is it a specific type of person? Is it, you know, somebody from this part of the world versus that part of the world? Who is it that you're actually trying to? to work with, all right? And when you put all of those together, what happens is you get a message that's very straightforward and very clear. So for me, if somebody were to say, well, what's my marketing message? I would say, well, I work with individuals to help them expand their reach, impact more lives, and get their message out to a wider audience. A lot of times I run into speakers, coaches, and even service professionals in general who are looking to be able to meet more people beyond their local network, who want to be able to have a message and have a message that resonates with others but really 
aren't sure what the next best step is for moving forward, or they've been doing a bunch of things and it hasn't translated into as much paying clients as they would like. What I do is put together a quick, you know, step-by-step -step action plan to be able to help them not only expand their reach and impact more lives, but get their message out to a wider audience in a way that's not pushy, salesy, or otherwise over the top. All right, that's my message. And now what I can do is I can take that, I can put that in my, you know, on my blog, I can put it on my website, I can have it when I'm doing videos, I can put it as part of my podcast. But here's the thing, and this is the, one of the points, you can't really get successful. You know, over the last 200 podcasts or whatever, you can't really get successful without having a crystal clear message as to who you are and how you serve. Because the bottom line is, if you don't know what that is, then how can you expect others to be able to either refer you to, refer others to you, or to be able to pull out the checkbook themselves and work with you. Bottom line is you can. So that's one of the things that I've learned. And as a matter of fact, we have a Facebook group. We'd love to be able to have you on that. It's facebook.com slash groups, that's plural, slash reach wider audience. So that's www.facebook.com slash groups with an N slash R-E-A-C-H wider, W-I-D-E-R, audience, A-U-D-I-E-N-C-E. We'd love to be able to see you over there. Got a great little community. And feel free to like, share, or comment below as well. I am all about the comments, and I appreciate it. And I actually answer each one directly and personally myself. But in the meantime, my name is Brian Hilliard saying so long, take care, and thanks so much for your time.